Avatar The Last Airbender is one of the best shows ever made, and I've really never talked about it on the channel. And there's supposed to be more Avatar content coming, whether you're talking about that live-action remake, more books, more comics, more TV shows and movies, whatever. There's just more Avatar coming, and I really want to talk about every episode of Legend of Korra and Avatar The Last Airbender individually. So every Sunday, you'll begin a review of an Avatar The Last Airbender episode so this week we're talking about the first episode uh which is a two-parter but they're not put together as a two-parter so i'm not gonna throw them both in the one video this pilot actually pr pr really amazed me watching this time because when i first watched the pilot and i started watching the show for the first time i never really um adored that pilot where i just i was really thrown off by ang's goofiness and na naivete and just like i thought it was too kitty well where the most of the show was not like that but it definitely threw me for a loop the first time i watched it this time i'm just amazed at how good the world building in this pilot is first of all you get the classic iconic intro that we all know you know before the fire nation attack you know, or, you know, it's like, all right, you get that classic intro, sets up the conflict. Then you immediately get introduced to Sokka and Katara, and just through their babbling, you really understand very quickly these are siblings. Um, they find Aang, they fly a bison, you get introduced to all that. And even though in this pilot, at first you don't know Aang's the Avatar, you it's very clear that this kid is not normal. I mean, even Sokka's like, how are you not frozen in this thing? Brings it back to the tribe, you know. Uh, and it's very clear from Sokka in this episode that uh, what I also was amazed about, I never realized how very clearly it was set up Sokka and Gatara's character arcs. Uh, Sokka very clearly is training young children to be soldiers in war uh very young children right their tribe is very small so it's very clear that all the other ones are at war and now he's training like what looks like 10 or 8 year old kids to go to war you know so that's very clear of what that how's the war is affecting Sokka you understand that very clearly just from this first episode and that's with, with the episode 90 being 15 minutes into it that's incredible um TV show pilots are very hard to do, but this one is one of the best of all time. This and Futurama's pilot. Just so good. And then you understand very clearly how when Katara is uh, racing down with the penguins. And she's like, I haven't done this since I was a kid, you know. And then Aang says, you still are a kid, you know, reminding her of that kid. But also, I think that's why Aang's childish behavior in this pilot didn't bother me as much. I Now that I'm a little bit older, I can kind of appreciate that Aang is young, you know, he makes a lot of immature decisions, the, the decision he makes in this pilot to go into this Fire Nation ship that's robust, broken, and sets off a booby trap and dangerous people, but that's something a 12-year-old would do, you know, you'd be curious about something, kind of like, you know, someone going to see, like, a haunted mansion or something like that, and then they walk into the, you know, thing, like, or abandoned house kind of thing, you know, that's something a young kid like that would do, these characters make very good decisions the one that's not as expertly set up is zuko but even zuko i feel like gets more of a excellent establishment in the next episode and that's just what i really appreciate i think all everything is set up even the introduction of there being a south pole and a north pole just everything is just set up in this pilot and left for expansion and just you don't even realize it until you've seen the show a couple times. It's just an incredible work of art pilot. And I, yeah, just a great episode of the show. Just incredible. 